So our next topic is changing radians to degrees. So first of all, we need to review our unit circle. So our unit circle is from here to here is going to be pi. And again, pi is the same as 180 degrees. So our conversion factors are either pi over 180 degrees or 180 degrees over pi, depending on our situation. But this time, um, I'm just using this both because when we are changing radians to degrees, it's possible that we're also changing degrees to radians. So it's either way, depending on what you need. So let us have the first example. Example number one. Our first example is pi over 6. We want pi over 6 to turn into something with degrees. Okay? So because you want to turn it into something with degrees, this pi has to go away. So, without me changing the value, I will multiply this by 1 in the form of any of these two. But I'm looking at this, and I have a degrees on top and a pi below, and I know that if I put my pi below, the pi and the pi will cancel out. Therefore, I will be able to change it to where I have degrees. So 180 degrees. Let's do this. Pi and pi disappears and turns to a 1. I now have my degrees, and 180 divided by 6 is, this divided by 6 is 1, 180 divided by 6 is 30. So this is 30 degrees. Okay, now let's do example number two again. This is in radians. And I want my final answer to have degrees. Therefore, I must be able to cancel out a radian, which can only happen if I have a pi at the bottom. So therefore, 180 degrees. Again, we're not changing the value as that's equal to 1. Those two are on the same spot. They're the same. They're equal. Okay. This cancels out. I'm, I now just have degrees, which I had placed there. 1, 80, and 3 are both divisible by 3. So I divide this by 3. It's a 1. I divide this by 3. It's a 60. Therefore, my degrees is 60 degrees, or 60 over 1 degrees, which is the same as 60 degrees. Example number 3, 7 pi over 6. I want to turn that to degrees. So I want my pi at the bottom so I can cancel it out. And I want my 180 degrees to be on top so that the degrees would be left and I wrote it there already. So let's begin. Pi and pi disappears and turns to a 1. 6 and 180 degrees are both divisible by 6. So if I divide this by 6, it's going to be a 1. If I divide 180 by 6, it's going to be 30. But I still have a 7 there, so 7 times 30 is 210 degrees. For our last and final example, I have 7 pi over 4, and I want to turn this into where it has degrees. Therefore, I must be able to use the one, multiply it by 1 in the form of 180 degrees over pi and again your purpose is to get rid of this so we're getting rid of that it's not turning into a zero it's turning into a one okay i believe that four and 180 degrees have a greatest common factor of four if i divide four by itself it turns to a one 180 degrees divided by four gives you 45 45 times seven is going to give you 315. Therefore, 7 pi over 4 is the same as 315 degrees.